Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be examining exercise 25 in the Level 1 Rhino Training Manual. Start by opening up your circles.3dm file. We will begin by immediately drawing a circle at the midpoint of our drawing. To do so, go to the top menu and select Curve, Circle, Center Radius, or simply go to your toolbar on the left and select the circle icon. Select midpoint as one of your object snaps. Click to define the center point of your circle, then set the radius to be 3. Now we will divide our bottom line into four segments. Do so by going to the top menu and selecting Curve, Point Object, Divide Curve by, Number of Segments. Select the bottom line of your drawing as the line to divide, then enter 4 as the number of segments to divide your line into. We will use these newly created points to create another circle. This time we will be drawing a circle via its diameter. To do this, go to the tool menu on the left. Click and hold to select a different drawing method. Diameter should be the second option in that menu. Select the second point of your line division and then type 4 to define the length of your diameter. Hold Shift to turn on orthographic mode, and then click directly vertical. Perform this same action on the second to last point on your devised line. There is almost an endless number of ways to draw a circle in Rhino. We will again click and hold on our circle drawing tool. This time select Tangent Tangent Radius. Select your top line and your line on the left. Your circle will be drawn tangent to these two lines. All that's left to do is to define the radius. I will type 2. Perform this same action for the other side of your rectangle. It's time to convert your drawing into a 3D object. We will do so by first selecting the four lines that make up our rectangle. Then go to the top menu and select Solid, Extrude Planar Curve, Straight. Type 2 to define the length of your extrusion. I will right click on the perspective viewport title and then select Shaded. This way, we will be able to more clearly see the effect of our extrusion and our 3D object. Next, we will extrude all four outlying circles. Again, go to the top menu and select Solid, Extrude Planar Curve, Straight. This time, type negative 6 as your extrusion distance. Finally, we will extrude our inner circle. For the last time, select Solid, Extrude, Planar Curve, Straight, and then set your distance to 4. And that concludes my presentation of Exercise 25 in the Level 1 Rhino Training Manual. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.